Welcome behind the scenes of our latest TV adverts. In the next few videos, we're gonna be telling you why we chose the cars we chose, what makes them special, and answering your questions from Twitter. Ouch. Looks like you need more space. Yeah, but how? Well, at Arnold Clark, we have over 20,000 cars to choose from. Can I get an SUV? Sure, Katie. And we guarantee the UK's best-used car deals. That's actually quite impressive. We're pretty chuffed with it. Find your next car at arnoldclark.com. Why do we choose the Peugeot 3008? Well, like you just saw in the ad there, the girls just needed more space, didn't they? So, I wanted to start here at the boot. In the 3008, you've got 520 litres of boot space, and that goes up to 1,482 with the seats down. And just bear in mind, you do get 125 litres less than that if you go for the hybrid option, but more on those later. One of the best things about the 3008 is this no lip on the boot and that means you can get all your stuff in and out nice and easy Just slide straight in and that is definitely an edge over the competitors <laughs> edge to get it speaking of your stuff let's do some questions we got loads of tweets asking about the stuff the girls were trying to cram in charlotte wanted to know where the girls store their boards Someone screaming at the telly wanted to know why they were bringing in boogie boards from a lake. And Chris wanted to know what they were doing with surfboards on a lake with no surf. All great questions. First thing, not a surfboard, so no surf needed. Also not a boogie board. Wait, is it, is it boogie? Is it boogie? Let me know in the comments. It's actually a paddle board. And paddle boards are inflatable, so they roll up into this nice little bag, which fits in there. Nicely, no worries. Oh, Neil also wanted to know if the girls did have paddle boards, where are the paddles? And well, they were literally right there. Don't believe me? Told you. Neil did also ask, why are the girls not wet if they're meant to have been in the water? And do you know what? I'll give you that one, Neil. What's it like to drive then, and why should you care? Well, two reasons, the city and the motorway. Well, I say motorway, we're up in Scotland at the minute, out on these country roads, so let's go with city and open road. When you're out on the open roads, lovely to drive. It's nice and smooth with your good suspension. One of the things that I noticed in particular was when you're on cruise control and you're getting onto a hill, sometimes the cruise control can struggle and start to feel a bit of a pull and you have to drop into doing it yourself again. But this handles it really well. One of the best things about the 3008 is you've got your emergency automatic brake in when you're out on the country roads, which is you know, great benefit and a lot of cars have that now, but this, the 3008, has something called night vision, which means if you're driving out on the country roads at night and an animal happens to jump out in front of you, that could literally save your life. And then in the city, still does really well. This little steering wheel you've got takes a bit of getting used to at first, but once you're there, it makes handling in the city much better, I think. It's nice and tight when you're in the corners and especially coming round roundabouts, so all round, it's good. If the 3008 is starting to tickle your fancy a little bit, you might be wondering what size engine you could or should get. If you're more of a petrol person, you can go for a 1.2 or a 1.6 litre engine. If you're looking for a diesel, you've got the option of a 1.5 or 2 litres. And both those smaller engines come with 128 brake horsepower, and both the bigger ones come with 178 horsepower and an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Now back on those hybrids we mentioned earlier, the 3008 does come as a plug-in hybrid with two options. You've got a 1.6 litre petrol engine there with front-wheel drive, which gives you 222 brake horsepower as a hybrid. Or if you go for the full-on four-wheel drive version, 
you get 296 horsepower. That's basically the same as a Golf R. Right, what's it like inside then? Well, for a start, I feel like I'm in a spaceship and I like that. I genuinely feel like I've stepped into a spare room of the TARDIS and found myself in the year 3008. We've got all these funky shapes over here. We've got this ambient lighting in the door. We've got this nice cool row of buttons. We've got Apple CarPlay on there, Android Auto. You've got fully digital dashboard. And we've got loads of space as well. Oh, wireless charging, forgot about that. Space-wise, fits a whole big bottle in there. You can fit a whole big bottle in the side as well. And your cup holders, deep enough so that you can fit a big coffee in there. And that's not gonna fall out, winner. This seat is in the same position it's been while I've been driving. And I've still got a bit of leg room there. Still got a decent bit of head height in there as well. And this has actually got a slightly lower ceiling because it's got a bit of space taken out by the panoramic roof. And I'm touching on about six foot, but it's not enough to just look good on the inside. What's it like on the outside? Well, on the grill, we've got this cool kind of flat chrome pins, which reminds me of the, do you remember the old window screen saver with all the stars flying at you? Still sticking with that nice spaceshipy theme. And then on the LEDs, you've got this cool waterfall kind of effect with them. And then round at the side, as you come along the doors, we've got these nice new sharper creases all along there. And at the back, we've got these smooth new smoked LEDs as well. So still outer spacey and cool on the outside? I think so. And you might be sat there thinking to yourself, do you know what? I think one of these would suit me, but how much are they? Well, you can get the 3008 for just over 24,000. And remember, you can get any car delivered near you to one of our click and collect sites. But it's gonna be chilly in here now, which reminds me, we had loads of questions on Twitter. People asking, how could the girls possibly have a hot drink out in the middle of nowhere? Did they find a lonely cafe? Is it just something that we forgot when we were making the ad? Or is there some kind of magic cup that they've got that keeps drinks hot for ages? And to tell you the truth, I just don't know.